Hello world, welcome to the 51st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fourth video in my SQL Lite playlist where I'm building my own digital memory. If you just happen to come to this video not through the playlist, then um, I just want to give you a quick background of uh, what this project means to me. So last year my father passed away from Alzheimer's and for about five years I saw his memories be stripped away from him. So it motivated me to create my own digital database using a Python library called SQLite. So please leave a comment if you, are, you or a family member is suffering from Alzheimer's or has had somebody pass away from Alzheimer's. And I will delete any toxic comments because that's not funny or um, you know, acceptable. So in today's video, we're going to add a photo to our database. So up to this point, we've had an automated date stamp, and today we'll be hard coding that. We've asked for input for a memory, but today we'll be hard coding that. And then we will upload a photo, which is new. So if this is the first time for your video, you will have to, um, you know, we established a memory database called a connection, then we closed it, or we, you know, set up this cursor. So if you're going to make a create a table for your first time, then you need to edit what you've seen in previous videos. And this is c.execute, create table if not exists, but ours does. Date stamp, which we enter text. Memory, which will enter text. And photo, and you'll enter a blob. That's right, if you're new to Oracle or SQL, you've never heard of blob before. What does blob mean? Blob is the SQL um, variable that's called a binary large object. And so that's usually referred to, blob is another word for photos, but it could be anything that's large and uh, it's just a huge chunk of data. All right, so if you already, if you've been watching this playlist all the way up till now, then you will have to add it like this. Mine already has it. All right, so you'll need to, uh, in this SQ SQLite browser, which we downloaded in a, you right click here and modify table. And you add a field, and this is where I named it photo and blob. Okay, then you'll press OK and save the database. And then you'll have a new column called photo blob. All right, so that's two ways, just to recap. If this is your first time creating the database, you'll use this code. If you've already created your database, you'll go into the SQL browser and modify the table and add your own blob. And so we've entered this enter memory function. That's what I've called it. I've hard coded the date stamp and then we're going to get a photo. So this says photo and then we call the convert pick function which I have made down here. So the file name is where you put the file name of the photo. So I already have Sonic, this uh, Sonic folder. Let me synchronize this. All right, and then here you go, you can see Sonic. So let's open that up to see what kind of picture it is. There you go. That's what we'll be uploading to our database. You'll see why in a second. So you just enter Sonic right there or whatever your file name is that's in the current path. If it's not in the current path, then you simply uh, put in the full path, which is like C backslash users backslash notebook, whatever. So then with open this file name, we're going to read bytes as file or you might have seen as f in other videos then we're going to name the variable photo equals file which is up here dot read and then we're going to return the photo so anytime this convert pick we're going to read the bytes as a file dot read and then return that photo 
So in our enter memory, this photo now, this photo variable now has this photo that's already been read. Then the memory. I've already hard coded this. So today, Grace, who's my wife, Everett, which is my youngest son, and I saw the movie Sonic at the Springfield Mall. Then we're going to do a connection dot execute, so or cursor dot execute, C dot execute, insert into memories, date stamp, memory, and photo. So you're letting it know that you want to insert these three into memories, and you're going to pass it these values, question mark, question mark, question mark, which tells S SQLite that uh, there will be variables coming up. And as you can see, date stamp, which is here, we hard coded it memory which is what we typed here and this photo which is what we have here then we're going to do a connection dot commit which writes it to the database then we're going to close the cursor and close the connection all right so let's run this enter memory okay it says process finished with exit code zero which means success now let's look for our SQLite database called memory and you can browse data go to today's date today Grace Everett and I saw the movie Sonic at the Springfield Mall and let's check out this picture and you can't see it this isn't a good place to view the picture right now we'll do that in a future video but here is the picture and the coolest part about this is that we can delete this photo now from our local machine oops we can delete this photo from this file right here do I want to delete the file yes I do delete anyways so let's go into the database once more Go to browse data, look at the picture, and it is still there, which is incredibly important because the goal is to have this database on either an encrypted um, at home server or even to the cloud. That way I can access my memories from anywhere. So if I have multiple instances of Shane, I can access my memories from wherever I want. And so in the next video, we're going to be um, selecting a photo. So we have, you know, manually input this photo down here. And I don't want to do that. I want to open up a normal file explorer, select any photo. The file path will automatically be passed to this. I don't have to type it in. And each time I store memory, I can just choose whatever file I want. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe so you can see me build my memory database or Shane. And uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.